This is what we call a coin. There's really nothing special about it, but when we drop it, the coin collides with the ground. Yeah, we live in a world run by physics and object collisions, and, well, we can do the same kind of thing with Blender. How? Well, just take your coin and replace it with a digital double, the floor with a ground plane, and the simulation is run by rigid body dynamics. This kind of thing is perfect for dropping all sorts of objects until we get into some unusually shaped geometry. Concavity, donuts, objects with genus larger than zero. These are the types of geometry that tend to break our physics, making simulations with interlocked objects can be really hard to control. But, of course there is a silver lining, a way we can control these kinds of situations, and that is the collision shape. See, when we run a rigid body sim, we don't need to use the actual mesh data as the collision object. We can approximate the physical interactions with simpler shapes like spheres, boxes, cylinders, convex hulls. Of course, using these kinds of approximations isn't as accurate, but they do a pretty good job. However, when concavity is concerned, your only option is using the mesh data. Is there anything wrong with this? Well, no, but it does take much longer to calculate these physics and we don't really have a better option. It's sad. That is until Blender 2.9 came out and changed everything with a new collision shape called Compound Parent. Basically what this lets you do is create a compound or composition of simple shapes to serve as our collision proxy. This is the mesh that's going to be doing our collisions and the original mesh is just coming along for the ride. Let me tell you this method is significantly faster and it's really easy to set up. To do this just start placing down your geometry until you're happy with your collision proxy. Make sure that all of these are rigid body objects in their own right and parent all of these as the children to our original object. Finally, set the parent rigid body type to compound parent and everything will start working. It really is that easy. It's a feature that should have been here a long time ago, but it is here now, so yeah, it exists. That's your Blender Quickie, and as always, I've been CG Matter. You've been you. Bye bye. Look at you, you made it to the end of the video, the end of the Blender Quickie, sponsored by the Ridge Wallet. What is the Ridge Wallet? Well, it's these super sleek industrial metallic wallets that are very much thinner than a normal leather crappy wallet. Uh, this is the kind of thing I used to use. Forget about it. It's all about the Ridge Wallet. These things are designed to be the only wallet you ever need. So you buy one of these and you're not going to be replacing your wallet as you would with a leather wallet. It is thin. You can put up to 12 uh, cards in there and depending on what version you get, you can get a cash clip on the back or a cash strap depending on your preference. Personally, I'm a card person, but I think I'm probably more clip and I do like the aluminum. So this would be the one for me. The Ridge Wallet is very highly reviewed with over 30,000 five-star reviews. And if you get yourself one of these Ridge Wallets and you decide that you don't like it within 45 days, there is a 45 day money back guarantee. But of course the question becomes, how do I get myself one of these things without paying full price? And that is where I come into this equation. So if you use my link in the description, that is ridge.com com slash CG matter with coupon code CG matter. You can save yourself 10% off on any Ridge wallet that you want. And this is with free worldwide shipping and returns. So get yourself the only wallet you're ever going to need for the rest of your life.